Hi guys, I am really late with this month's bead box. This is April's bead box and I'm really late with it. I have opened it and had a look, but I thought I'd put it together again, put it back in the box and show you guys what we have here. So, a really nice box this is, nice mixed items. First thing that caught my eye was this nice piece of jasper. Let me just bring you in a little bit so you can um, have a look with me. Let's get organised, shall we? Okay, so we've got this nice piece of jasper. And I, yes, there is. The hole runs through the length of it. So that'd be nice. This looks like Jasper also. I could be absolutely wrong, but it looks like Jasper also. Two, they make a nice pair of earrings. We have a nice, um, I'm sure it's glass. I'm just going to get it out and have a look. If I can get in the darn bag. Here we go. News for you guys is I've become a nanny again to baby Ollie. He's six pounds twelve ounces. Um, everything was fine. Mum had to have cesarean because she had pre, pre Um and then baby Ollie got jaundice, so he had to go down to special care. Yes, it's glass. Nice big glass focal bead. Look at that. That says tassel to me, but I'm mad on tassels. And another nice, I think this is um, quartz crystal. Let's have a look. Yeah, so baby Ollie's back on the ward with mom. He's just got to have a couple more tests, then hopefully um, they'll all be able to go home. Oh, that's a nice piece of crystal, that. I like that. Hmm. It's got some nice inclusions around here, bit of sparkly bits. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. Some nice sparkly bits. Oh, I like those. Some nice little rose buds. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with those because these are flat backed. Can you see? The flat back, so maybe glued onto some flat earrings or put into some bead embroidery. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with those, but very pretty. Um, <coughs> excuse me, a couple of uh, glass leaves, green leaves. See, the theme is a bit floral to go with these. Some nice big, um, what are these called? Flucite, are they? Side, something like that. <laughs> Probably got it all wrong. I've got nanny baby brain at the moment. Unfortunately, I live in Cornwall and my daughter lives up country, so haven't been able to see baby in the flesh. Um, only on FaceTime, so I've got a bit of nanny baby brain going on. So I think they're called flucite, something like that. Um, nice flowers. Oh, these are pretty. Nice little green pearl type um, beads. Let's just see if we can get them out of the packet and have a closer look. Well, the packaging is done really well from Deborah Ble Beads. Bleeds? Deborah Beads. These are cute. Pearl light. Little beads. Not speaking to me yet, but I'm sure they will. See them going with the flowers somehow. Those safely back so I don't lose them. We've got the beading wire. Nice shade of beading wire. We've got some suede with end caps in there, endings in there. And we've got some, um, they look like Ato beads maybe a little bit bigger but they look a bit ato in size um these are not a branded bead these are like a craft bead but a lovely beautiful color and there's lots you can do with these don't get put off i've got bags and bags and bags and bags 
of um, unbranded seed beads. There's a lot you can do with them. They look great um, threaded. A nice bag of findings. Some nice silver findings. I am a silver finding girl and bronze. I'm not much of a girl, gold girl. I like um, the silver tones. And some little drucks, I think these are. They look four millimeter in size. Lovely colour, I'm loving the colour. Ooh, these are good. So these speak for themselves. Nice little cup flower beads in a beautiful um, colour. And they're saying flowers to me. Earrings, because you've got your ear hooks already there. And your, um, little head pins are already in there. So that's a pair of earrings straight off. Don't need to worry about those. Ooh, some nice little, um, oh, what do you call them? Fire polish. Maybe three or four mil fire polish bead. Can you see the colour? Nice, like, rosaline colour. Goldy rosaline colour. Some nice little peridot shade crystals. Crystal beads. And there's two, four, six of those. And some 11 OCBs and a nice uh, pink. Gorgeous. I, just, I still think it astounds me, this bead box. And some chain. Ah, so the chain. I might go with that with a tassel on. Mm. Oh, might go with that with a tassel. I'm a bit tassel mad at the moment. I do like tassels. And... <laughs> Some little, I think they're four mil. If I can find my measure, I will measure them for you. And I can't quite find it. If you saw my beading table at the moment, I've just, we're just in the midst of, I've had a um, workshop made down in the garage. And I'm transferring a lot of stuff down there for wire working and sea glass. So keep your eyes open for some um, sea glass tutorials coming up. I'm just waiting for a few more tools to arrive um, down in the den, down in the she cave. <laughs> I think these are four mil. I might be wrong. Um, they're either three or four. But I would guess at a four mil. Um, little glass beads. I say these were 8 mil. Um, nice, these are. Nice colour. I like those. Glass beads. These are really nice. All like different shapes. If you can see how different shape they are. I hope it shows up. These are beautiful. Really nice. Like a frosted lilac glass. Gorgeous. Really nice. Some nice green three or four mil pearl and some nice gemstones. I'm not sure what the gemstone is. I wish I did know, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, I will try my hardest to find out before I make it into anything. Um, so yes, there you go then, box is empty. Let's widen you back out. So we've got some lovely gemstones, some nice pearls. Some, these are gorgeous, beautiful lilac frosty glass. Some nice big glass beads, some nice little glass beads. Beautiful big focal um, heart, some lovely jasper. Some little flower buds, some more little earrings. I think they're going to be earrings. Some flucite, I think it's called. Some fire polish, some drops, some big sea beads, um, findings bag, the chain, little glass leaves, little pearly type, some 11 no sea beads. Power earring straight off the cuff, beading wire, suede, and some little glass crystal 
um, peridot colour beads. And there we have it. Okay, so the challenge is set for me. Let's see what I can make from it. And as always, I will give you a list of anything that I've added for my own stash. Okay, guys, so I'm going to pause the video and see what I can make. Cheers then. See you later. Hi, so I thought I'd come back to you and show you what I've been up to so far. Don't look at me mess. <laughs> I'll uh, just put that over the top just so we can have a look at what I've been making. So if you remember then, um, most of these parts are in a little bag already. The head pin, the little fire polished, the flower and um, the earring hook. So all I added to put it together and bring it together a little bit more was one of the green little pearls. I just thought it just added just that little bit extra. So that's all I've done there and made a nice pair of earrings. And then I've realised now what the name of these are. Lucite. <laughs> Not flucite. I don't know what I was thinking. Lucite. So I measured off for my wrist. Um a length of the beading wire and got out all the other beads and had a good look through and I decided that I wanted to use the, the some of the green pearls, some of the glass beads and uh, come up with this little summer bracelet. So for the lucite flowers then all I did was got some of my own head pins out threaded on the glass bead first and then if you remember there were some of these in the oh in the box so I put on three or four of those and then threaded it onto the lucite and then just made a simple loop at the top. Put a, a lilac sea bead in between each one and it gives it this effect. Um, used some two crimp beads of my own and um, a split pin at one side or split ring should I say not pin split ring on one side and a lobster clasp that was already in the box and if I put it on I'll just hold it that's what it looks like it's really pretty some bracelet I'm just widening you out just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Ooh, and not the camera and everything else. That's a bit better. So, and then just made a really pretty summer bracelet. I really like that. And it all jingle and move around and whatever as you wear it. It's really pretty. So that was another item. And then I decided to have a look at the 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 um, suede thonging. So if you remember in the kit with that was two ends, two cord ends. So I measured off 21 inches of the cord and got the heart out and just did a wrap loop at the bottom and a simple loop at the top. So I used a eye pin um, and just made the loop at the bottom and cut off the excess. And then just to give it a little bit more interest, I got a ball head pin, added one of the little lilac-y frosted glass beads, two of the beautiful peridot coloured Abacus bees, I think they are. They're really nicely cut. Really lots of sparkle with those. Let me see if I can bring you in a little bit and just see if it'll show off Ooh, a little bit better. How beautiful they are. So pretty and really glistening. Turned another wrap loop at the top and obviously added it to the bottom of the heart and made a really pretty lovely summery brace uh, necklace I think this is gorgeous I really like this we widen you out a little bit again okay without knocking the camera everywhere 
So that's item number three. And at the moment, under all this mess, is I'm making item number four. So what with the rest that I cut off, it's absolutely ample to make a bracelet, as you can see. So I've got some more to cut off yet. So I've already added um, two uh, one clasp, which I've already got in my stash. Well, it's not a clasp, it's a ribbon end, isn't it? Um, so I did a ribbon end and came up with this idea that I wanted to add these little dangles. So to make the dangles, and I've already got quite a few here, as you can see, that I've been working on. So I just thought I'd show you how I do it. So I've got a bald head pin. And I'm going to add one of the little drucks. And a pink, well, lilac, one of the large lilac sea beads and one of the small sea beads so I've got this lovely little thing okay and then to turn a loop at the top I'm going to hold bring you in a little bit so you can see a bit better what I'm doing okay so you hold your round nose pliers at the top push over the wire to 90 degrees okay turn your pliers so that's from there to there turn your pliers up fold the wire over right over so you have this turn your pliers again and push your wire round so you have this okay switching the pliers to my left hand because I am right handed we're going to do a little bit of wire wrapping so to wire wrap we grab our flat nose pliers grab hold of the wire and turn the just looping the wire round so we have that take our flush cutters and Put our thumb over the top, snip, have a little look-see, see if it's sticking out, which it is a little bit. Take our flat nose pliers and just gently squeeze and that will flatten off any wire that's sticking out. Just slowly work it round. Not grabbing hold of the CB because you will break it. Oh, and drop it like that. You have to drop it or else it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. That still looks like it's sticking out a bit. Let me see if I can pinch off a little bit more wire. That's it, that's better. And again, flatten it down. I'll make another one just to show you, just in case you missed it, and maybe the camera angle wasn't quite right. So, head pin. Green druck. Purple sea bead or lilac sea bead. And a little fuchsia coloured sea beads. Round nose pliers come into play. Let me see if widening you out a little bit helps. Take it 
taking our round nose pliers, bending the wire straight over so it's a 90 degree angle, moving the pliers a quarter of a turn up so you were here, so turn the pliers up, bringing the wire from the back over, all the way over and round the other side, turning the pliers back to the top. So it's all just wrist movement, so your pliers were down, taking your pliers up to the top and pushing the wire round, oh, sorry, pushing the wire round to the back. So you have this. Take it off and show you. Okay, put your pliers back in. Swapping hands then into my left hand, so my dominant hand is free. So if you're left handed, you'll do it the other way. Grabbing the wire. And pulling round to the back of the pliers, grabbing hold of the wire again and pulling round to the front, giving a nice wrapped loop. Can you see that? Nice wrapped loop. So we need to get rid now of the excess wire. So taking our flush cutters, putting our thumb over the top so it doesn't ping everywhere and cutting it off. Now it's still sticking up a bit, so that's better. And then taking our flat nose pliers and just giving it a little squeeze, just making sure that it's all tucked in nicely because we don't want it to catch on anything. Perfect, and there we have another charm. Then the idea will be to thread them on all willy nilly, and uh, I think that'll make a nice little charm bracelet. So That'll be item number four. Don't know how many items are going to get out of this one because I've been quite generous using things up. But I've still got my chain, still got my focal bead, still got my uh, piece of jasper, still got my leaves, still got these beauties. So let's see what else we come up with then. So we're widening you out a little bit. I'm off to do some beading. And I'll see you in a little while. Here we go then, all finished. This is what I came up with. I just put the other ribbon end on the uh, other end. Added the lost, oh, wow, lobster clasp and um, the jump ring. And here I have a beautiful, pretty summer bracelet. Look at that. I love this, Like it's really cool. So I've finished then guys making all the jewellery so now on to the rest of the the bits of jewellery that I made and we'll do a round up at the end of how many bits. So I think this is uh, one, two, three, this is number four. It's a beautiful bracelet. Oh I think it's beautiful and anyway. Then I made some little earrings. Let me bring you in a bit. doers so then I made these lovely little earrings I'm sure these are dyed howlite and I just put them on a head pin added a couple of little uh, pink sea beads and um, put them straight onto the ear wire and we got a lovely little set of earrings and I think they really might go with this as a little set yeah, quite like that Nice little set. So, them are the little earrings. Then I made, because I'd only got this one bead left and those little uh, pearls left. So, I used the rest of the beading wire and just made a very simple little bracelet. Very delicate, looks cute on. 
and then just put a little charm on at the other end. I added of my own some uh, crimps, little crimps. And all you do is use your crimping tool. And there you go. If you do need to know how to you how to make how to use the crimps, leave me a comment and I will do a video on how to crimp your bracelets. I might just do that actually as a, a tutorial of how to use the beading wire and finishing off a bracelet because I'm sure I've seen some tutorials where they show you one side where you're joining but don't show you how to finish off the other side. So I may do that as a quick tutorial. So there we are, a cute little bracelet. Then I made this using the, I'm sure it's Jasper. I'm probably totally wrong, but I think it might be Jasper. Um, one of the head pins from my stash, all I did was Joined it to using a using a simple loop, so as if making it into a head pin, uh, eye pin. Sorry, attaching it to the jump ring. Added a bead, put my stone on. Added another bead at the bottom, and then bending the wire around at the bottom, and then just making it into a little bit of embellishment on the front and flattening the star down. And there we are, a cute little necklace, and just added it onto the chain that was in the box. And also the lobster clasp and the jump rings that are in the box. So there we have a really pretty, nice necklace. And then I thought, what am I going to do with the little nuggets, the little gemstones. So I got one of these ring findings in my stash and I want to do something a bit different. So again, got my trusted, <laughs> I love these um, ball, -headed eye, uh, ball headed head pins. I love them. And just added them, turned a loop at the top and then put them onto the ring finding. Can you see? Just a simple loop at the top and just put them on. And on it looks really darn pretty, even if I do say my so so. Wow, even if I do say so myself, I love it. I think it's really nice. So, if you wanted a tutorial on how to do this, just let me know and I will do one. So I also made one out of, this isn't from Deborah's bead boxes, my own, and a different ring. And um, that goes on that thing. Made one of those. <laughs> right. And then on to the last two items then. If you remember this, I said I was going to make it into a pendant. And that's what I did. Because these beads are out of the bead box. I just got some chain, counted down 12 links, put the beads onto a ball headed head pin, did a wrap loop, but before closing it off, I added it to the chain and then just did a wrap loop at the bottom. And I did that three times. Got a head pin. An eye pin, sorry, not a head pin, an eye pin. I did the chain to the bottom and just did a nice little wrap loop at the top. And that's ready to go on a necklace. I'm unsure of what to put it on yet. So there's the pendant. And then I made a pair of earrings to go with it. Again, the same idea, just but I measured down 10 links for the earrings. Again, ball pin, wrap loop, but before you close it off and do the wrap, attach it to the chain, onto um, a rings at the top, and then attach it to your ear wire. And there you have a lovely pair of earrings to match the set. I think these are great. 
I love these. As long as you like dangly earrings, bring it down a bit into, into frame. So we have a lovely set there. So one, two. I can widen you out a bit now. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. I think the last couple of boxes I've made 11 out of. So I've got 10 this time, but I still have these left. So if you like, they need to go on flat back earrings. So that would be 11. And then I've got some of these pearls. And I've got these fire polish. And I've still got a few gemstones. And I've got some seed beads. And I've still got two of those beads so a fantastic box again thank you Deborah beads I will put a link to Deborah's shop in case you want to join in on the subscription five pounds a month subscription and they get delivered within the first two weeks of the month and I just I just can't get over it I really still can't get over the the value of these boxes and I've got all those pieces of jewellery out of the box. Fair dues, I've added a few bits of my own stash, mainly being clasps, ear wires and head pins and a bit of chain on this one. But the majority of things have all come out of the box. So another thumbs up for me for April's B box. Thank you very much, Deborah Beads. Um, all that's left to say then guys is anything that you particularly want to see in a tutorial do let me know I think my next one will be to show you how to use um, crimp beads properly and getting your tension right etc and maybe something that I don't know maybe making a ring something simple just so we've got a tutorial up and Please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a subscribe. I will put, also put the link underneath in the description to my Facebook page. If you go over there, please give me a thumbs up on there. Once I get to 100 likes on my Facebook page, which is called Sea Beads and Dreams, then I will be giving a giveaway away. So, everything to play for. Go over, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And we'll be having the giveaway soon enough. Okay, guys, so let's see you on the next one then. Bye for now.